So acute renal failure, what the heck does that mean? And we're going to go into exactly what causes ARF, acute renal failure. Don't get it confused with acute respiratory failure. <laughs> I know all these acronyms that the medical field loves to throw in. But uh, there are three stages of acute renal failure. We're going to go into those three stages. We're also going to go into how to fix acute renal failure, something like I like to call HDTV, a little acronym I came up with, as well as the three signs and symptoms of acute renal failure, as well as the three causes of acute renal failure, and how to tell the difference between intrarenal failure and um, pre-renal failure. So let's go into it. It's kind of a lot. So let's talk about it here. So we already know the basics, the basics of your kidneys. Your kidneys filter three things, hydrogen ions, blood, urea, nitrogen, as well as creatinine. How does it filter this? It filters it in the nephron, the functioning unit of the kidney. Something called, inside your nephron, you have little balls here that actually filter. It's like a big wash washer machine. These are called your glomeruli. Your glomeruli are supposed to filter between 85 to 105 mLs of blood per minute. We get into trouble when it drops down below 65 mLs per minute. That's when we're pretty much diagnosed with a renal failure. Okay? So, one of the first signs and symptoms of renal failure, at, at, at least acute renal failure, is something called your oliguric phase. There are three phases to acute renal failure here. Where did my brain go? There it is. Okay. So, hold on. Okay. So, let me erase this at least here. So our washing machine. So there are three main uh, steps in acute renal failure. ARF. Acute renal failure. You have one, what's called the oliguric phase. This just means that when your kidneys are insulted, and we can say insulted by, um, let's say, a very harsh uh, medication. So name some very harsh medications, very thick medications. Vancomycin, very nephrotoxic. Gentamycin, very nephrotoxic. You can also get IV contrast which really blocks up those kidneys here. All we're saying is that your kidneys itself have had a very toxic substance inside the kidney. Um, and this is what causes oliguric, which just means that there's no pee. There is no pee pee coming out. So we're expecting our glomerular filtration rate to be 85 to 105 and have good, clean, happy urine, right? Our patient comes back from CAT scan after getting IV contrast. Now they're making no pee, pee at all. They're making no urine. And the little urine that they are creating is very brown, very heavy. That's what's called high specific gravity. Just very, very heavy. If you have more gravitational pull, specific gravity, that means it's very heavy. So it's going to be brown and um, and very heavy. So that's your oliguric phase. That's the first phase that your kidneys say, help, we're in trouble. The second phase, your kidneys try to compensate. Just like I've been preaching, guys. Your body will try to compensate any way it can. So, there's always a backup plan with your body. Your body's going to try to compensate with something called the diurese phase or diuretic phase. Same thing.
So your body is going to try to pee as much as it can. Your body's going to try to get rid of as much fluid and push as much fluid as it can through those kidneys. Because your, your kidneys are saying, hey, if there's, a, um, if there's basically concrete or mud inside my kidneys, I need to filter that out. I need to make sure my washing machines are washed out, brand new, and hey, maybe I'll go back to normal. So this is what the diuresis phase is. You have very low specific gravity, very, very, very clear urine. Your body's getting all its fluid, trying to push and wash out all that crud, whatever insulted your kidney, okay? Now I'm just talking about acute kidney injury here. We're gonna go next into three other causes of acute renal failure. But this is just acute kidney phase, um, acute kidney injury. But all these three phases are pretty much the same with whatever you have. So the last phase, let's just say the diuretic phase worked. The last phase is called our recovery phase here. Recovery phase. This means that your kidneys are recovering and you are producing urine now. Now it doesn't mean that um, your kidneys are perfect and brand new. It just means that your kidneys are compensating and they're creating a GFR now. So your GFR has to be between 85 and 105 mLs. That's how much they're filtering. The basics in terms of urinary output, we're looking for at least, at least 30 mLs per hour. That's the bare minimum there. Um, now, you're supposed to be filtering, hopefully, as much as you're drinking. So if I drink uh, a gallon of water a day, hopefully I'm pushing out at least a gallon of water a day. That's, that's how it's supposed to work. Now, patients who are drinking a gallon of water and only peeing 100 mLs a day, let's just say they're peeing out, out of 135 ounces, they're peeing out 3 ounces. That's not good. That means they might be in a oliguric phase. So other than vancomycin, other than this gentamicin, all these harsh antibiotics, other than IV contrast, as well as um, a diabetic drug, an oral diabetic drug called metformin, uh, those are very, very toxic to the kidneys. Because if you guys know anything about pharmacology, the last portion of pharmacokinetics is excretion. And that's what's called our half-life, how long it takes for half the drug to be excreted by your kidneys, that's your half-life. So everything must come through these kidney doors. So if our patient's going for an IV contrast, we will stop our patient, um, the regimen of metformin. We'll take our patient off metformin at least for a day, or if they come into the ER, and we have to do IV contrast, we'll stop metformin for two days after the IV contrast, just to make sure we don't cause this kidney insult or this kidney injury. So let's go into the other three H's of, um, of why we get acute renal failures.